This video is brought to you by the Battle Zoo Bestiary, a new book featuring 100 award-winning monsters and the monster part system that allows players to harvest resources from their fallen foes and craft into custom gear. The Battle Zoo Bestiary is now available at BattleZoo.com. Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder Rule Reminder for you, and today's topic is how do you calculate a skill bonus or a skill DC for a monster when those skills or relevant skills are not listed in the stat block? And specifically I was asked about the Astra Demon of how do you calculate their escape DC? They have a melee jaws attack that has the uh, grab special property associated with it, so if the Astra Demon succeeds seeds on a jaw attack, they can spend another action that turn in order to automatically grab their opponent, and then on that opponent's turn, they're probably going to want to escape. So how do you calculate that escape DC? Uh, escape DC is typically just your athletics DC, but if we look into the skill section of the Astro Demon, we do not see athletics listed as one of their skills. So how do we go about calculating that escape DC? Uh, the answer to that is going to be fairly simple, and this applies not just to escape DCs and athletics, this is going to apply to any skill that's not listed and how you would uh, calculate DCs based on those skills. If a skill is not listed in a monster stat block, then it is considered to be untrained. To save space in the stat blocks, they only include the skills with which that uh, creature is considered to be trained or higher, and even then things kind of get a little bit fuzzy because monsters don't necessarily follow the exact same progression of skills in the same manner that players do. For example, if you look at the stat block for an Astro Demon, uh, it has survival plus 26, but it doesn't tell you is that expert or master or, or what have you. Um, but bottom line, if a skill is not listed there and you need to make use of it, it doesn't mean that the creature can't use that skill. For example, the Astro Demon, uh, they can still use the athletic skill. They can still do untrained activities with the athletic skill. They just do so untrained. So how do we calculate an untrained skill bonus? Now, skill bonuses are going to be calculated as ability modifier plus proficiency bonus. And that proficiency bonus is level plus a given proficiency modifier based on the degree of, uh, of uh, proficiency a person has in that particular skill. So in our case, it's going to be real simple. If, if the way to calculate a skill bonus is, is ability modifier plus proficiency modifier, and there is no proficiency modifier because they're untrained, then it's just their straight ability modifier. In the case of athletics, they have a plus five strength modifier. Strength is the relevant ability score for, for athletics, so therefore their athletics bonus is plus five. Um, and, and that's it. And therefore, if we wanted to calculate the athletics DC, which would be the same as their escape DC, you just add 10. And that would make it a DC of 15 for athletics DC and escape DC. Now, that seems alarmingly low for a 16th level monster. Uh, why would they not include a, uh, a trained proficiency level for athletics? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's probably an oversight. Um, some people out there, definitely not me. I would, I would never, ever make such a mistake as this. But some people assume that you add the level of the creature to this, which would be 16 plus their ability modifier of 5. That's not the case. When you calculate an untrained skill modifier, uh, there's no level involved because level is included in the proficiency bonus, and there is no proficiency bonus for an untrained skill. So that's it for today. If you have any suggestions for future rule reminder videos, please let me know in the comments. I'll make sure that I leave a link in the description of this video to my other videos that deal with grab and escape and so on. If you need more information about those topics, make sure you check out those videos in the description. And as always, I want to take a quick moment to say thank you to everybody out there who supports me, whether that's through liking the video, subscribing to the channel, chiming into the comments to let me know when I make a mistake and have to remake a video, sharing the video 
videos, with your friends subscribing to the Patreon, it all adds up and I greatly appreciate everything you folks do to support me in this channel. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and happy gaming.